The next standoff that we have prepared for you is globalization on the one hand and the totalitarian extraction of natural resources on the other. Globalization refers to the tendency of international trade, investment and information technologies as well as outsource manufacturing to weave together the diverse economies of different countries. Now in business and finance it primarily refers to the integration of economic global markets but it can also be used to describe the social cultural integration of the different countries we have. The promise of globalization is that a rising tide lifts all ships. The power of markets and technological innovation should reach all corners of the world, gradually reducing totalitarianism and protections. Both the capital and District 13 are totalitarian governments with ruthless dictators that see themselves as benevolently serving the will of the people. The economy of Panem is based on exploitation. It is an empire with each district serving the capital that's not capitalism. In fact, free trade and investment is violently prohibited. Panem demonstrates the opposite to this ideal. Instead of using globalization to contribute to the growth and prosperity of different economies, it extracts the resources of each district for its own benefit. Panam's economy can rather be compared to the colonization of the Americas when Spanish conquistadors discovered the prosperous areas of Latin America. They stole all the gold they could get their hands on and set out about putting the native population to work. They set up extractive institutions whose purpose was to extract as many natural resources, silver, gold or food, from the land as possible while keeping power in the hands of a narrow elite. These institutions are hard to resist against. District 12 is a mining district, but no workers' rights exist to improve safety or wages. And both the coal and wealth extracted from the district are funneled to the narrow elite. However, widespread growth is necessary, not just prosperity for the wealthiest nations or the elite few. Why? Because economic inequality is inherently bad for business. Welcome to our show, Mrs. Cohen. We're so glad to have you here, aren't we? For those of you who don't know me, let me introduce myself. I'm President Alma Cohen, leader of the rebellion. Do you actually see yourself as a hero? As a savior of Katniss and Panem? Yes, I do. Unlike Snow, I lead a fair and equal society. Then how come there are rumors that Katniss actually wants to kill you? Damn girl, we should have saved the boy. Would you agree that you might have utilized the people of District 13, similar to how Snow utilized all of the district? I make the most of the given resources. But then aren't you as brutal as civilizations long before Panem? The Europeans in colonization, the Spaniards in the Americas, or the Belgians in Congo? They abused other populations for their purposes. As you said, using resources to its full extent. I make the most of the given resources. Depending on the age and origin, some are meant to have a higher place in society. As a spoiler alert, Katniss will kill you in the end, because you killed her sister for your own power and for your own purposes. You should have gone for more an organic globalization process. Under a totalitarian government, exploitation will never be effective. I do not agree. I believe that humans need order and structure. Well, Emma, be ready for your death. Wah.